The distant echo of far away voices boarding far away trains. To take them home to the ones that they love and who love them forever. The glazed, dirty steps. Repeat my own and reflect my thoughts. Cold, uninviting, partially naked except for toffee wrappers and this morning's papers. Mr. Jones got run down. Headlines of death and sorrow. They tell of tomorrow and madmen on the rampage. And I'm down in the tube station at midnight. I fumble for change and pull out the queen, smiling, beguiling. I put in the money and pull out a plum. Behind me, whispers in the shadows, gruff, blazing voices, hating, waiting. Hey, boy! They shout. Have you got any money? And I said, I have a little money. I had a takeaway curry. I'm on my way home to my wife. She'll be lining up the cutlery. You know she's expecting me, polishing the glasses and pulling out the cork. And I'm down in the tube station at midnight. I first felt a fist, and then a kick. I could now smell their breath. They smell of pubs and wormwood scrubs and too many right-wing meetings. My life swam around me. It took a look and drowned me in its own existence. The smell of brown leather, it blended in with the weather. It filled my eyes, ears, nose and mouth. It blocked all my senses. I couldn't see, hear, speak any longer. And I'm down in the tube station at midnight. I said I was down in the tube station at midnight. The last thing that I saw when I, as I lay there on the floor was Jesus Saves, painted by some atheist nutter. And a British Rail poster reading, Having the way day, a cheap holiday, do it today. I glanced back on my life and thought about my wife because they took the keys and she'll think it's me. I'm down in the tube station at midnight. The wine will be flat and the curry's gone cold. I'm down in the tube station at midnight. I don't want to go down in the tube station at midnight.